Good morning, Year 6, and happy Tuesday. Here's what we've got in store today. Um, same format as last time, um, and cracking on. But before we begin, major, major shout out to my absolute star of Khan Academy. Lots of people have been on, but Layla Marie, you have been absolute star. Your results from all the mini tests and quizzes that you've done are phenomenal, and you have been the only person to complete it all from Monday last week. So from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and um, Monday yesterday as well. So I'm really, really impressed with you. Well done. Everybody else that's been on there as well, I'm really impressed. You are all doing a really good job. Fabulous work there, guys. Some extra bits if you want any extra time um, doing different activities. So today, your warm-up activity is to think of as many antonyms as you can for the word quickly. Off you go, pause the video, give yourself two minutes and have a look at some suggestions after. OK, guys, here are my um, antonyms. Lingeringly, ploddingly, sluggishly, leisurely, tardily or slowly. Remember, antonyms are the opposite for the word. So we are looking for words that are opposite to quickly. Today we are on chapter 14 of Wolf Brother. So spend your allotted reading time reading chapter 14. Don't forget the text is in a separate PDF online. Um, you can find it on the Year 6 learning page. Once you've read it and you've got some extra time, um, if you do have extra time, sorry, have a think about these questions. You don't need to necessarily write them down, um, but I'd like you to think about them and practice finding the answers to those questions in your book, because it's a really important skill that you will use when you get up to high school. TT Rockstar break. Take some time now to have a go at your 20 minutes of TT Rockstars. If you need your login details, please drop me an email at year6 at rebrickhays.staffs.seh.uk and I will send it back to you as quick as I can. Um, well done, everybody. You are doing a really good job on TT Rockstars. If you can't log on to TT Rockstars for whatever reason, there are some fluency questions on the next page. Here are today's fluency questions. Go as quick as you can and then check your answers with a calculator. Maths. So if you haven't already signed up to Khan Academy, please go to the Red Brick Hayes YouTube channel and go back to Monday the 8th of June. Um, and there are instructions for that on that web on that video. Sorry, I can't get my words out today. Um, log on to Khan Academy. I must say you guys are doing a fabulous job on Khan Academy. You, the results that you guys are getting on the quizzes are phenomenal. Really, really good. So please keep it up. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, there's also some spag bits on there if you want to have a go at those. Um, but other than that, log on and see what we've got in store today. OK, time to do some spelling. So can you remember how to spell the words from yesterday? So your first word from yesterday was trouble. Your second word was mixture. And your third word was portable. How many of those did you get right? So pause the video. Try and write those three words. Trouble, mixture and portable. And I will reveal the answers in five, four, three, two, one. Well done if you got those correct. I'm very impressed. And here are your spellings for today. Same method as yesterday. 15 minutes to practice in any fashion that you like. Um, try and vary it up. If you practiced one way yesterday and it didn't work perfectly, you didn't, didn't remember as many as you wanted to, have a go at trying a different way. OK, think back to all those different ways that we practice at school. Rainbow writing, robot writing, say, saying it out loud, singing a song, t telling somebody else, make a video about it if you want. Um, any way that you can remember these spellings because they're really helpful. So you've got do, science and attention. Science is especially important because you'll be having your science lessons at high school very soon. How exciting. So pause the video now, enjoy your spellings and then resume when you're ready for your writing task. Today's writing task is, it is an argument. You are going to choose any character from any book. And who you're, what you're going to do, sorry, is you're going to write an argument explaining that your choice of character is the best. So, for example, if I chose Stanley Yelnitz from Holes, remember reading Holes in Year 5 together? That was great. Or um, Kensky from Kenzuki's Kingdom, or Kensky's Kingdom, how we're pronouncing it. Um, I then have to write a piece 
of text explaining why my character is better than any other book character. So you have to think about why is it so special? Why have you chosen that character? And what makes it better than any other book character you can think of? So don't spend more than a page and a half on this one. But think really carefully what is a good um, point. So maybe I'd make bullet points thinking about what are the best aspects of these characters? Why have you chosen them? And then expand those bullet points into paragraphs explaining why they are so good. Why is that better than any other character that could be thought of? Enjoy that and upload them to Padlet if you're proud. Today's transition activity. So we're thinking about timetables. So I would like you to think about your timetable from school. I want you to, from Red Brick, from year six, I want you to try and think about what lessons we had, when we had them and how long they were for, if you can. I'd like you to make yourself a timetable like this um, and fill in um, what lessons we had. So for example, we always start every day with reading. So all the way across Monday to Friday, or you probably did a little bit neater than me, you will have reading. Then that went into maths. Can you remember the rest of the days? And I'd be very impressed if you remember the afternoon lessons in the right order as well, because they get a bit tricky. So enjoy. Your job is to create a timetable for your year six timetable. And I'd like you to think about which ones you enjoyed the most. Which was your favourite day? Why was it your favourite day? And if you did any clubs before or at lunch times or after school, add those on too. Enjoy and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye, year six.